I mean, it's definitely the, the biggest and most important fight of my career. Uh, I definitely need a, a, a defining win on my career, you know. Uh, like I've said many a times before, I've always felt short, had the short end of the stick, not due to me, but due to my opposition. You know, everybody always have went another path when it came to me. Everybody always have got no PEDs when it came to me. You looking at a guy that probably would have swiped out half of the division already if it wasn't for their own actions. So, you know, with this, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy that it's coming about, you know, because this definitely is going to be um, one of the biggest fights uh, of my career. And um, I'm, I'm up for the challenge, and I'll pass uh, with flying colors. You know, Ortiz has been pretty... Well, you know, he had that reputation of being the boogeyman, you know, and I've never been scared of the boogeyman, you know. And for that reason, I want him. You know, a lot of people have avoided him. Even champions that's champions to this day have avoided Luis Ortiz. But this champion right here took up on the opportunity. Even when he, when he failed the drug test once, I still blessed him again because I'm very adamant about what I want to do. I want to fight the best. I say I'm the best. I say it very proudly. I say it very confident. I say it so boldly, and I want to show the world that, you know, I don't play around. When I say it, I really mean what I say, or I wouldn't say it at all. I don't have time to waste. That was going to be my next question. I mean, I, think, I just think life itself is just mental. You know, I do a lot of visualization. I do a lot of meditation. You know, it strengthens my mind and through a lot of situations that I go through, and and having a baby and being on a reality show and stuff, all that's fun stuff, you know. Some people know how to maintain it and some people don't. I'm just the type of guy that I multitask a lot of things. I can do a lot of things. Even when I'm talking to you, my mind can be in so many different places right now and still be able to comprehend and interact with you right now. So, you know, I think I was made for a lot of things. Boxing is just not what all I can do. I, I'm so talented in so many different areas. You know, it just, you know, it just, comes about a time. Everybody have a, a time when they're able to do certain things. It just, it's just the waiting part. It's just the p being patient, you know, and letting things come. Sometimes we can move too fast and miss out on our blessing. But me, you know, I'm a, I'm a laid back guy. My personal life, I'm just a cool, calm, collective dude. I like to live life and I love peace. Unfortunately, what I do in the ring, I turn into the bronze bummer and the bronze bummer don't give a fuck about nothing. I think it's very important, you know. People need to know who's the heavyweight champion of the world is. America got a bad man. He got an ass whooper right here in America, you know. And I think it's important people should understand and should know who that is. And, you know, for that reason, that's why I do the things I do. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm so competitive. That's why I speak the way I speak. Sometimes, you know, it may ignore people. It may, people, it may get on people's nerves, you know. I never hear it in front of my face, but, you know. <laughs> But I understand it, you know, and I do it to, to show people that, you know, I'm going to speak it and you're going to see me deliver it, you know. And I think you get most respect when you say something you're going to do and you do it. Look at Ali, you know. Many people hated him. They said he was a big mouth. He ran his mouth too much. And then, but he proved himself many a times. And that's the thing that I want to do. I want to speak what I say I'm going to do and you can watch me, watch me work. But with, with him, I don't think Joshua don't want to fight me. He don't want to fight. His promoters, they don't want to fight me. See, they on the goal of, 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 of trying to build this, this, this resume or saying they want to be the first billionaire and stuff like that. But doing that, the plans all ends with me. Uh, you know, but they don't understand. All roads leads to me. I'm not going nowhere no time soon. And they know black don't crack. So I'm around for a long time. Long time. I'm, I am the best heavyweight in the division. I'm the best heavyweight in this era. I'm just waiting on the opportunity to prove it. You know, I've always said later rounds. I see that fight going later rounds. Um, if Joseph Parker is smart, then you know, what he do? You know, if he have nice movement and being able to execute on all the opportunities that he see with Joshua, you know, because Joshua don't move his head. He's, he's, he's a He's a muscle, he's a bodybuilder type of guy. To have so much muscle, what it does is it decreases your flexibility. 
you can't move like you want to move. You see my dance? You know what I mean? I see it. <laughs> so with that, you know, if he know how to, to be able to calculate what he got to do in the ring, because the ring has a lot of secrets up in it. It's, it's a lot of secrets in the ring, you know. If he's able to, to, to do the things he need to do, I see late rounds. But like I said before, I think he's going to have to knock Joshua out because they're not going to give him a decision. I don't, I don't see it happening. When people ask me the rounds, I always see threes. You know, this year is it's a magical year. It's, 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 it's the year of the 33. It's, it, you know, it's, it's a magical year, the 33. You know, so I see threes everywhere. So I see three, three rounds or less. You know, it may be shorter than that. Depends on how I feel when I see them. <laughs> I'm not going.